Hey guys, what's up? It's Chip to Fame with another video. In this one, I'll be playing Fagor. Let me just skip right through the start. So, looking at their class selection, um, I mostly look at like air units and cloaked units, and like like the supports. So we've got Delta Squad, Scion. Yeah, so those two. So the only defensive upgrade I need is like the um, the one that makes me go from their unit from air to ground so I can get rid of Delta Squad. The reason I can't use the uh, energy drain is because he could just activate it, run in mid, kill everything, and then it doesn't matter if he has zero energy because it's already been activated. And then with my other one, I got the buff, as you already saw. I went, had all the lanes in the middle. The buff is really strong because like these units heal the full. And then level two, I'm gonna get scan. Theoretically, if they had no threats where I didn't need energy drain or the air to ground, I could have gotten scan level one. And then I get the second buff ASAP because it gives me plus one vision. And that just makes units a lot less clunky because they go from like one to four of it. Well, I mean, one vision to two. And if you think about like Pyro Square. So th this, the reason I was able to find that was because um, it was within range of the tower and my random lanes would find it. So yeah, make sure when you're playing on this map, you don't build within the towers unless you're protecting the tower with your life. Or unless you're baiting it too, like let me think of an example. Yeah, that's not a good spot. Yeah, so like you could pretend like you have eco here and then just defend it hard for it with like a ton of widow mines or something for gas. Um but yeah. This was a pre-made that we played earlier today. Yeah, luckily, got some good kills there. Yeah, I got, I'm getting plus one melee first. I got two hatcheries first, then Evo Chamber. I'm not sure if that's better than one, but like you, you should not be delaying plus one melee for longer than that. And then you should crush, you should try and get plus one armor around eight minutes, and then after that you would go to like the fourteen to sixteen minute mark, and then you just start massing upgrades as the defender. Yep, just creeping here. I use C rapid fire. I use my rapid fire key as C so I can just hold down C when I'm starting to creep. And I'm mostly just playing offensively with my lanes. Like I see a pain, I group up my lanes and I attack it. Um, it works better for some classes than with others. I'm check. I'm pa I path fine with uh, patrol, which I have on the S key. So Sukov had to invest like two weapons of Marines. He's not really good at like AOE killing, like Widow Mines, for example, or like a support. So I got a much bigger group of lanes. And I'm buffing because I feel like I could do some really good damage to both the champion and the Sukov here. I didn't want to feed that Sergeant Hammer at all. And I didn't want to go after Sergeant Hammer too because he could just run away and wouldn't do much. So yeah, I'll just watch this for a little bit. As you can see, like, it just forces him to spend so much on units. And then I, if I force a salvage on top of that, he'll just be super far behind. Yep. Yeah, you can see only I had like four billions to begin with. And now he has to wait. Um... Delta Squad being there, that was really annoying. I feel like Delta Squad is one of the strongest supports right now. Along with maybe like Scion and yeah, maybe just those two. Rattlesnake if you're not against the Palaka. I have the Raider. 
which is visible to enemies on the map, which is how I saw that building. Oh, I got, I got a nice thing there. I, I'm pretty sure I killed his first two buildings up here. So he's like very far out of the game. And then he loses this too. Yeah, so he is reset. Um, for context on this, um, the hunter I was in a voice chat with, because it's pre-made, um, he noticed that this Helenus was just going the same spots over and over. But I, th I think going the same spot over and over is fine if you defending your eco, because then it takes them a minute. I mean, it takes them a whole rotation around the map to come back to you, or they're just trolling themselves by not ever going anywhere but if you're hiding then it doesn't really work very well but he's not really focusing I mean, he's just using a few scans in like the corners where he knows he's been every time and then let's see is this where, yeah, yeah. So I noticed there was a huge army up there. And then G Cloud does this, which is kind of frustrating. I like, couldn't go around. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess I kind of need to defend these. I was gonna try and see if I could get to Sonic and screech him. Cause the range is pretty good. Like you see that white range. If I was a little bit closer, I could have gotten it. But I saw this huge army out here, so I want to try and kill it, get some gas feed, maybe force his salvage. I, I was assuming there was something behind it, right? He probably recalled it or something, I don't know. And then I brought my hero out there too, which was um, good on G-Cloud here. He's playing very well. He notices I'm leaving creep, so he goes in the middle, which is a counter to Fagor doing this because unlike Niadra, he can't recall back. He kills my Hydra Den. Spoiler alert, like, spoiler alert, I do not get back in time to defend my Hydra Den. I go for, I go for a triangle of Spore Crawlers here just so that I don't lose anything else. But yeah, that, that hurt a lot because I lost my Hydra Den pretty early. And I had to make three Spores early. I'm just continuing with creeping, but I'm primarily focused on what are my hydras doing. I'm primarily focused on like hydras. And attacking. Like I've spent a lot of time the nine eco on the top right. So I'm putting like one or two buffed hydras on every out on every watchtower. I'm not sure if that's good or not, but it's better than the lanes. Lanes kind of suck because like they don't defend themselves at all, and a single hydra doesn't work either. So I saw this eco. I'm kind of I want to see really quickly. Okay, he salvaged already. Like spoiler, I just put the because uh, I have rank two. So level four, I got rank two of the buff, which gives me one vision. So I'm like, I'll just put the hydras up here and they'll probably see it. Yeah, they saw it. I was curious if I missed it by not scanning though in time. So yeah, I put the, you see like he invests a lot of money here. He used some of the, uh, one of his eco buildings, a black one can like do like an AOE detonate 
He tried that. He had an army here. And I he only, I only lost three hydras. And yeah, like they're going to heal up. So it's super strong. They have really good attack speed with my buff. And we noticed a base in the bot left. Um, we were kind of wondering, like we were in voice chat. We knew that we should attack from different sides, but we also kind of wondered what to do. Um, in retrospect, we should have like, because I've been ecoing spoiler, not spoiler, since about like minute eight, just getting hydrogen and whatever. So I told him to attack one side, I'll attack the other. But we should have waited for 2-2, two, two, I think. Or at least one of the upgrades we us to. Maybe in the meantime, we could have cleared around the map. But I would rush 2-2 two, two, and then like stockpile some minerals for hydras. And like preemptively F2 so my army's together. I do an F2 soon. So yeah, like one hunter defend attacking kind of sucks like it doesn't matter which hunter you are it's way stronger if you can get the defender to come in and that's one nice thing about Fagor and Neadra is they can always join um, Isha and Bloodlig too but it's way easier as these two classes because you can just go off creep so I'm trying to stay away from Archangel here that's why I'm kind of like here and just in voice chat we've communicated that we're gonna like go all in on the space um, I've F2'd so I can clear up supply and the lanes will help. I have some hydras up here. Yeah, in retrospect, I really wish like I F2 pre preemptively. Um, I'll try and get both the hunter and Fagor in here. So this is like almost all Rio. There's a few of these little um, caterpillars that are called Reaver, basically Reavers for Maywin. So he did good breaking up here. Um, but yeah, if we had stockpiled some minerals, like maybe I want to be starving minerals right now. And our push only would have been de delayed by like 30 seconds. I kind of just want to stop taking damage because we broke through in the back here. But just having like a second person and like th these hydras kind of make it so they can't retreat this way and we can kind of sandwich everyone in here. But if the hunter was here alone, not only would he have had like 20 times harder time breaking, but um, he wouldn't be able to sandwich the units and he'd just be able to like rebase somewhere else. I'm kind of like just trying to make sure no one escapes this way. I think most of them do escape though. Like oh, we killed kill the A1, but I think that was already before. But yeah, it would have been nice to have like a few, like four hydras here or something like that. Or here. The moment we were breaking and So here, like we just got a ton of gas off that push, right? So I'm kind of just like trying to make sure the upgrades are so high and we're going offensively on all these pains that or the survivors can't do anything. If their base was a little bit later and I had the eco, I would have rushed vision because vision, like lanes with vision and speed and it's very hard to set up bases, especially with Zerg like reinforcing the pushes. And auto creep itself has been just like pushing pretty well. So we're kind of just like kind of worried about them rebasing, but we're both there, both like looking for it. We've lost a lot of HP, so 
it would be hard to do the same thing where we use our HP as a resource. I want to try and sandwich this guy. I think he gets really close here. Yeah, he's like... Yeah. But there's not many pains. We're going after them pretty aggressively. Very aggressive upgrades. As I say here. I'm like, oh, can I get the kill here? Get the kill there. Archangel dying here is very big too because um I mean um the liberator because he's so close to dying that I didn't have the scan up. Um when we if if they were to rebase, the Archangel could kill us if we were to use our HP as a resource. But against like normal units it's very easy to like just be a little bit out of range. So we're going pretty aggressive on all the pains. Especially once we get... We, can, we didn't get that much eco this game, like you can kind of tell where we stopped. Yeah, it's a lot of cleanup. I was kind of trying to kill one guy. Figure is just so fast. Oh my god. This is only time. This time is too, but like you can. Yeah. Big takeaways to learn from this game. Figure Hydras are amazing. Um, ideally, we wouldn't have lost so much HP if we had banked a little bit of minerals before pushing. Not really necessarily eco, just banking minerals. Um, and attacking from two angles is very important. Otherwise, it would have been like nearly impossible to break that base for either one of us. And that's not like a skill thing, that's just like, that's just how it works. So we got lane vision here, you can like just immediately tell the difference. Now it's become, the game becomes impossible for Stukov to play. Split the hydras, he only has two ways to go. Unless he has blink. Oh. Oh my god. The scion living here was like amazing. Cause like I have this many hydras. I s like if one hydra got there a little bit quicker for vision. That would have been a kill, but I mean, like, he dies two seconds later. And yeah, GG, game's over. We didn't finish the game before our channel died, but yeah. Um, So tomorrow, if you look at the gas, we're going to look at Sergeant Hammer. Rio's Sergeant Hammer from this game, because I felt like he did a lot of damage, lots of gas. Like, he was pretty much soul holding that base. And yeah, hopefully we can learn something from there. All right, GG guys. See you tomorrow with Sergeant Hammer. Peace.